Excuse me. Well, welcome to uh, the Kennedy Center in Northern Neal State Church. Uh, my name is Alejandro Escovedo. I'm from, uh, originally from San Antonio, Texas, but uh, I hail from Austin, Texas, now outside of Austin, a little town called Driftwood, Texas. So. And on my right on drums, uh, oh, hang on a second now. I'm sorry about this. Uh, we have on the drums, originally from Philadelphia, PA, there you go, that's better, because usually when I introduce him from Philadelphia, he gets booed, so. <laughs> it's a welcome change, thank you. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, all the way from Austin, Texas, let's say Mr. Mark Henney on the drums. <laughs> and on keyboards, we have uh, a gentleman who's from a town called Denton, Texas which is actually the coolest music scene in all of Texas. People claim that Austin is uh, the place to be, but it's not anymore. Uh, the place to be is Denton, Texas, and this gentleman hails from there. He was in a lot of great bands that you may have heard of. I won't mention them all right now, but please welcome Mr. Scott Danbaum on keyboards. Maybe east, 
some left out, some are rich, some are poor, but everybody's got to win.
across the trees. He said, don't give a march when you're stretched out across the breeze. It's like a circus here. Step up and take your shot. But there's no winners here when you're stretched across the Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Uh, it's really amazing to be here. Um, I've never played such posh places before. Uh, so it's nice to be here. And uh, I'll ask this question last night and nobody answered, so I'm going to ask it once again. Are there any Buddhists out there by any chance? Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Are there any taxidermists out there by any chance? No. Any wannabe taxidermists? No? Because this song is about taxidermy and Buddhism. Uh, it's a very popular subject with the kids. I don't know if you guys know that. Mm -hmm. 
but it's called uh, Deer Head on the Wall. Ready?
ever told you there'd be no danger, nothing to fear here. Yeah, in this house of pain. So speak to me softly. Tell me you love me. We'll talk together. Yeah, inside the refrain. But I just might break this time. Yeah, I just might break this time. You know I just might break this time. Yeah, this time. sing some songs for you out there if you don't mind. Okay? Uh, let me just tune up again. Let's do that with us.
all of that were going on a vacation, that were going on a vacation to see California, Disneyland, and whatnot. And that's what, under the pretense that we got in the car with our little suitcases. I mean, we left everything behind, you know, the horse and pets, and especially family. There was a lot of family and friends down there. It was uh, a place where, you know, it was probably 75% Mexican, and Spanish was spoke daily. The food was uh, Mexican food, and my uncle had a bakery down the road that we could go get fresh tortillas and pan dulce on the weekends, and you know things like that. Uh, there were so many kids that some were tied to the roof of the car, <laughs> some were thrown in the trunk, and some just ran behind the car. <laughs> So we get to California and it was very beautiful back in those days. The air was clean, the water was clean. There were orchards of oranges and lemons and limes and avocados everywhere, beautiful flowers everywhere. It really truly was, you know, part of the golden state. <coughs> Excuse me. And there were pretty girls and rock and roll surfing, which I fell in love with. So the gist of this story is that my father one day shook hands with a man and we suddenly had a house in Orange, California, in Orange County. Now, we never returned to Texas to get any of our stuff. In fact, one day a big moving van showed up in front of the house and we couldn't afford to pay for it or what happened. I don't know what happened, but we couldn't get our stuff. We left everything behind. It was just an odd way to begin a childhood. So, instead of uh, constantly spending a lot of money on therapists, <laughs> I decided that I'd write a song with my good friend, Chuck Prophet. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, <clears throat> we wrote this song, it's called San Antonio Ring. Like everybody's trying to sell me something I don't need. Might be a half pound of cocaine, quarter gram of Mexican weed. But the last thing I need is something that'll go on my pain. I'd walk from here to San Antonio just to taste a cool tongue of the rain. But the rain ain't gonna come. The rain don't wanna come. I'm strong. I think I felt enough of this. I asked the botanist, the doubles, botanists, I should quit. Once I could find a friendly face in every corner of this town.
I put my finger to your pulse You whispered something pretty in my ear I just laid down to rest my eyes When I woke up, there was nobody there I hear the ocean calling Calling like a long, long, long friend Think I'll go back to California But I don't want to let me in Cause the rain ain't gonna come Think I'll go back to California, but I don't think they let me in. Thank you. 
have 19 more minutes to play. Uh, with all my long-winded stories, that's not enough time, really. But So we'll just play a few more songs for you, okay? And, uh, I want to thank you very much for coming out tonight or today, <laughs> this morning, whatever this is, to see us. Thank you. And let's have a big round of applause once again for Mr. Mark Henney on the drums. Come on, show him some love, people, please. And on the keyboards and violin, please give it up for Scott Danbaum. called Sally Was a Cop. <laughs> you guys want to go ahead and start playing? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. What's up?
dance. Come on. So sorry, but we have to end this. Uh, there's a tight curfew here, but I want to thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you next time in the club somewhere down the road. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs>